Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add grid lines in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Can we take one second to appreciate how nice this example footage is I found from Pexels? Of course, I'm Irish. I had to take this Guinness example. It looks absolutely awesome. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is have Premiere Pro open and have some video on your composition. So the first thing you need to do is come to our project bin and we're going to be coming down to the bottom right of our project bin, clicking on the new item option, and we're going to be adding an adjustment layer. Now, in this case, it will automatically grab all the information from the video. Although if you want to change this to make it something specific, feel free to do so. In this case, I'm just going to be clicking OK and we're going to be making an adjustment layer automatically that's going to fit our composition correctly. From this point, we're going to be dragging our adjustment layer onto our video timeline and I'm going to be stretching it over the entire track of our composition. For your instance, you can choose exactly where you need your grid lines. In this case, I'm going to be doing it as an example over the entire track. But from this case, it's up to you exactly how you want to do it. Once you have this done, what we're going to be doing is adding a grid effect to this that we're going to be able to adjust and customize after that. So the first thing I need to do is come to our effects control window. If you can't find this, simply come up to window and click on effects and your effects window will snap open. We're going to be clicking on the search option and we're going to be searching for grid. Now this is going to be under video effects, generate and grid. What we're going to be doing is clicking and dragging our grid effect onto the adjustment layer that we just created. And you'll see instantly that we have this grid on our timeline. Now sadly there is some background to it, but we're going to be customizing this to remove this effect so we can see directly through it. So what we're going to need to do is come down to our timeline and make sure we have our adjustment layer selected. Once you have this done, we're going to be coming to our effect controls. If you can't find this, simply come up to window and click on effect controls, which will open up your effects control panel. And then here you should see the FX for the grid. And from here, we'll have all of our customizable effects for our grid. So the very first option we have here is the anchor effect. Once we remove the background, I'll be going into more detail on what this is. It is useful in some situations and I'll be explaining it a little bit further in the video. The next thing we can choose is the size from option. Now this will determine how we want to set the height and width for our grid. So center point is going to set everything height and width from the center. We can choose width slider, which is going to let us determine the size of our grid by the width slider right here. Or we can choose width and height slider because we can completely customize everything ourselves although you can use whatever one is going to work best for you. Our next option is going to be the border, and this is going to determine how thick our white line here in the center is. In this case, five is a nice happy medium, although we're going to make it a little bit thicker for the video and make it 10, we're going to double it. And you can see how thick our border is in this case. It adds a little bit more boldness to our dividing lines. Underneath this then, we'll also have the feather option, which is going to soften around the point around our borders. In this case, I don't see a really big need for this, although some people may want to have it. In this case, I'm not going to be touching the feather effect. From this point, you'll also have the option to invert grid. All this is going to do is invert all the colors. This is nice if you want to take a black line directly from the get-go. You won't have to mess around with colors. And then finally, the last thing we have is the color. And this is going to determine the color of the grid itself. So in this case, it's set to white. But for example, if you wanted a red grid, you can set this color to red and your grid will then be turned to a red color. And then finally, the very last option is the option that's going to be removing our background here is the blending mode. What we can do is set our blending mode from none to normal. And you can see we can see through our grid and we can see the image in the background. Now, in this case, as we scroll through our timeline, you can see the grid stays perfectly in place. And now this red is a little bit striking. So maybe I'm going to go back to our white that we had before. Of course, this will depend on the video you're using, what color you would like to use, or depending on the effects and graphics you're adding after. But here we can completely customize at any point. All we need to do is make sure our adjustment layer is selected and come back to our effects control panel. So at any point, if I want to add a little bit more height between my layers, what I can do is come back to my effects control panel and make it a little bit bigger. Or let's say, for example, I want to make my grid a perfect square. I can match the size of the height and width of the grid. So in this case, it's 370 by 370 and everything is a perfect square. I know exactly how much I need to go from the center point and it adds a little bit more to our image. Now, the very last thing I'm going to mention is our anchor point. So in this case, the anchor point is set to the center of our composition. So you can see if we come back to our effects control panel, it's currently set to 1920 by 1080, which is halfway through our image because this is a 4K image. So our center point is somewhere in the middle here. But let's say, for example, we want to grid to start on the top left. What we can do is set our anchor points to zero and zero. So now our grid is going to start from the top left and that's a nice little effect depending on what you want to do. So if you want to start it from the center, you can keep it in the middle. It'll automatically be there by default, but we can set it to any of the corners just with a little bit of mats. So if we know it's a 4K image, we can come over 3000 or so pixels to go on the top right. If we want to come down to the bottom left, we need to take the height and width of our composition and it'll come down in the corner. And here you just need to experiment to see what works for you. So if we click control Z twice, we're going to be going back to the center. And if you want to go on the top left, it'll be zero, zero. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to add a grid line effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. 
I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.